Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Best and Slot here with episode 2 of the Skyrim Creation Kit tutorial series. Today we're going to be having a look at how you make, create and add a weapon to the game of Skyrim. Um, this is going to include the crafting recipe and the smithing recipe, the tempering recipe that makes your weapon better when you take it to a grindstone and you upgrade it and such. We can do all three of these things right here in the Creation Kit, nice and simple. You want to go ahead load the creation kit if you want to know where to get it and how to load all these items you see here go and check out my last video I'll leave a link to it it's in the playlist go check out the start of that and that'll show how to do all this I'm not going to go through it every video it seems a little pointless now you, what you'll have done is um, you want to move the render window and the cell view out of the way because all we're going to need today is the object window if you look in the left um, you'll see all these different sort of sections blah 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 what the one you want to click on is all. All encompasses everything and that's going to make our life a little bit easier. When you first click on all, I guarantee your creation kit is going to jump and lag a little bit. That's perfectly normal, don't worry about it. Go do something else for two minutes, come back, it'll be fine. Don't be tempted to close it down because it seems like it's going to die. It'll be fine, just give it a little bit of time. Once that's done, you want to go up to the top left to the filter section and type glass sword without any spaces. So that's glass and sword with three yeses in the middle. And that will eventually get you to a screen that looks something like this. Glass sword is the weapon we're going to change. What we're going to do is going to base our enchanted special weapon off the glass sword. First up first, go down and find glass sword. It'll be sitting on its own. You want to find the one that says wep down from it. Go ahead, take that, right click, duplicate. Um, this won't pop up instantly, the duplicate, what you need to duplicate, I should say. What you need to do is go back to the filter, hit space, hit backspace, and that'll refresh it. And as you can see now, glass sword copy 0000 is there, and that's the one we're going to mess around with. So, we need to edit this, and the same way as we did last time in the last video, we need to give it an ID, something that we can recognize it by. So, we're going to call this glass sword special in big capital letters because it's special like that that won't affect the in-game that's just so you know how you recognize the weapon the name however is what it will be called in-game and now we need to think of something cool for the weapon I can't think of anything I'm going to look around my bedroom for inspiration I see nothing I see a scratch map the weapon shall be called a scratch map beautiful we're going to go ahead and enchantment. If you just check there, you can see enchanting. You want to scroll down to enchant weapon section. And as you can see, most of them go up to 0, 6. So you go from 0, 1 or 0, 2 to 0, 6. And that is the strength of the enchantment. Most of the enchantments go up to 0, 6. That's the bait, like the max level. And generally speaking, if you're trying to make an overpowered weapon, that's the one you want. We're going to stick Chillren 0, 0, 6 on this. Enchantment is the charge, so again, this is going to be a super duper special weapon. That scratch map sounds like a super duper special weapon. And we're going to go give it 500 enchantment and a value of 20,000, because why not? That's all you need for this top bit. You need to go down a little bit and you mess with the weight or something. As this is a very special weapon, it's got a weight of 3, damage of say 34. All of this is up to you, this doesn't really matter. I'm just trying to prove how it works. Um, speed again you can change if you want to double that didn't actually seem to achieve anything we'll see but either way there's lots of stuff you mess around with crit damage let's bump that up a bit as well let's make that 20 it doesn't really matter you know you know how strong you want your weapon to be you can make it weak you can make it strong you can make it anything you want if you want to do retexturing and stuff you need to look into that separately that isn't really a creation kit topic you need to you need to mess around with that separately basically once that's done once you've done everything you want there you want to go ahead and click OK and then click yes when that pops up again it's not going to pop up instantly you need to refresh the filter and once that's done glass sword special there it is looking beautiful if we click on edit it should have all our stats yep there it is looking beautiful as the day it was born now technically, that is now in the game. If you went into the game, went into the console and searched for Scratch, Scratch Map should theoretically turn up. But that doesn't really integrate well with the game and we want it to be a little bit better than that. So we're going to make a crafting recipe. Same as we did with the sword, you want to find Recipe, Weapon, Glass, Sword. You want to go ahead and duplicate that. And once again, refresh your filter. And there you'll see it. 
recipe weapon glass sword copy 0000. Go on, click edit that. Give that a second to load up. For those who are wondering, armor works pretty much exactly the way this does. So if you want to know how to do armor, just basically do what I'm doing now. Um, there will be different stats to change in terms of damage, and there won't be an enchanting level because armor doesn't expend charges. But anything I'm doing here, you can do with armor, and it'll work perfectly well. Let's go ahead and give that a name. We'll call it special at the end there as well because it is super special. The major thing you need to change here, there's two really, well three, let's say. Created object, obviously you want glass sword special, you want your scratch map to be the created object, otherwise it's a little bit pointless. Required item list is the components with the object ID, which is obviously, so we've got moonstone ingot, malachite ingot and leather strips, with one of each, as you can see by the far left. We don't really want any of them, so we're going to go ahead and delete them. And then we're going to add a new one. So we need to right click, click new. And then on the right in the object, go down and just pick something, pick a crafting ingredient. We're going to make this out of a known root because why the hell not? This takes three known roots. There we go. There it is. Beautifully there. So if we went into the game and we want to craft glass sword special scratch map, we need three known roots and we go to the smithing forge in order to create it. We could actually go to a cook pot if we wanted to and all these different things. We're going to stick with a forge for now. Match conditions is the conditions you need to craft it. As you can see at the moment it is glass smithing and that seems a little bit harsh. So we're going to go ahead and delete that. Click new. And the condition function you want is... I appear to have forgotten the name of it. Has perk. Yes, there we go. Sorry. There's, there's loads of stuff here. Loads and loads of different ones. I mean, you can have it, you need a specific shout in order to craft it. Loads of stuff you can do. For now, we're going to use has perk. And then we click the invalid button and you can pick which perk you want. So let's say. Oh, do, do, do. What do we want? Something random. Let's just scroll down a little bit so we find something a bit better. Okay, I don't want to waste too much time on this. We're just going to go for... Ah, silver Tongue, why not? I assume that is a perk in the speech tree. You can do loads of stuff like this. It doesn't really matter. I'm actually going to go ahead and cancel that and not have a condition I am. But that's how you'd add a condition. All you do after you've picked your perk is just click OK and that will appear. And that is the perk you'll need. If you spent the time looking, you would find glass smithing, iron smithing, all of them. Just, I'm trying to keep this moving. Go ahead and click OK, and then click Yes when it says that. Once again, space back, and Glass Sport Sword Special, the recipe, is now in our object list. We're nearly there. There's only one more step, really, and that is to make it temperable. You know when you go to a grindstone and you improve a weapon, add to its damage, make it legendary status? At the moment, we can't do that because the game doesn't know we can. We've not told the game we want to do that. So again, scroll down to the bottom, you want to find Temper, Weapon, Glass, Sword. They've made this nice and easy. Click Duplicate. Again, refresh your filter list and our copy should appear. There it is. Right click it, go into Edit. Give that a second to load up. And the created object, again, we need to change that. Workbench, obviously now it's a smithing sharpening wheel. One weapon, you don't need to change much of this. I'll go ahead and change that to special again and this is basically it we're going to leave the malachite stuff and the perk obviously as you can see we need arcane blacksmith as you do to enchant enchanted uh, as you do to work on enchanted weapons however it's we've also got this one here which says tempering item is enchanted function info none we're going to get rid of that this you spend time with this and these all start to make sense none of these are really an issue you will get used to them I promise you but you can generally find what you're looking for go ahead click OK click yes and now theoretically we should have a glass sword called scratch map in the game that is craftable using free known root and then improvable using a malachite ingot there's only one way to find out though go to the top left click file click save and this will pop up your Skyrim data folder you want to give this a name let's call it scratch map okay okay so you want to go ahead load Skyrim 
give it a second or two. Just finished installing the HD texture pack, so had to wait a little bit. Should be all good. So if there's a bit of a jump in the video there, I apologise. Trying to cut it out to make it a little bit neater. So yes, you click play, load Skyrim, and when you get to this little screen, you can see here this rectangle, you want to go ahead and click on data files. And you want to make sure that scratchmap.esp is there. Um, it, it does seem to activate them by default, they do seem to load up no matter what. You don't tend to have to come on here and tick them. But if um, you may as well make sure, just click it once when you're loading up. Make sure scratchmap.esp or whatever it is you named your, your um, file when you went to save it a second ago, make sure that is ticked. And that is all we need to do. We're going to go ahead, check it in-game, see if it's working, and I shall see you there. So here we are. We are in White One, and we are going to go hop over here and see if we can create Scratch Map. So we go to the Blacksmith's Forge, if you remember. That's what we made it require in the um, toolbar when we were making the sword. And it was glass, and there it is. There is Scratch Map. It's got the damage, it's got the value, it's got the free weight, as you can see. It's got even got the enchantment that we set, and requires free Nern Root. Let's go ahead and make that. And then we're going to hop over and make sure we can upgrade it as well. Ah, I need refined Malachite, which I don't have. But the point is, it's definitely upgradable to fine, as you can see. Adds another damage, and uh, yeah, adds another 3.9k onto the value. It's that easy guys, that is how you add your own custom weapons into the game. So say you want to make a special limited edition sword and then add some enchantments to it and go hide it somewhere. You make the most powerful sword in the game. Um, future tutorials are going to show you how to make dungeons and quests and such things and eventually we'll get to the point where we'll put it all together, make a dungeon that's got a quest related to it, got a boss at the end, and when you defeat that boss you unlock a chest which will have a custom weapon that you've designed in it. We're going to get all of that done, you're going to be able to do whatever you want basically, it's going to be amazing. Thank you for joining me as always, I've been Best in Slot, stick around for more tutorials and tips and tricks and keep subscribing and liking and commenting if you've enjoyed the videos and then I'll know and then I can keep making them. Eh? Thank you for joining me as always guys and I shall see you later.